I'm, it's a new thing for me, man. September 1st, I don't care. I'm, Halloween is starting. I'm already watching scary stuff. Oh, what'd you watch? I'm watching right now with Indrani that she's already seen it. It's a, it's a French series that has one season. It's eight episodes called Marianne. Okay. And it's pretty darn good. And Flanagan's got a new series coming out. Oh, really? At the end of September. Yeah, you'll probably see my house transformed here in the I next week or two. Wait, do you know, speaking of Halloween, do you know why uh, goblins can't get witches pregnant? Why? They have Halloweenies. Stupid Rex, it's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And he can follow us on Instagram. Juicy, juicy, juicy juice that's in a sack. You squeeze it and you suck on the juice. Gross. <laughs> so Rick always asks for an instructional video yes. on how to throw a spin ball. Yes. Uh, so Just this, anything with cricket like that. This is, uh, I believe it's an Australian By cricketer. By the way, Old Monk right here. Yeah, Old that's Monk. Old Monk. Uh, Australian kid, Shane Warren. I don't know if he's the guy that we saw in the video. Name. We seen the guy that we saw in the video about cricket in India. Maybe so. And that we were like, is he just a regular photographer? And he's like, a, probably. And he's like a legend. I don't know who that was. It might have been this guy. But I know the but name. But he's the king of spin, apparently. The oh. leg spin tutorial. Well, I want to see one by Scott Sterling. Uh, he probably doesn't have as good of a spin. Um, but so I'm guessing he's going to go over different ways to awesome. throw a spin. Because you've asked for that many yes. times. Uh, Thank you, stupid babies. So if you know, we don't know this guy. I'm sure he's like Tom Brady of... Right, spinning. He's an Australian. He's obviously. the spin meister. Uh, they're good at uh, cricket as well. Um, so here we go. Leg spin bowling. There was a lot of mysteries <laughs> and a lot of different things. You gotta stay safe, Leg spin bowling today. I'm gonna show you five different deliveries. The first one being the most important, which is the leg break. His hand was backwards. Dang. The most important thing when you're bowling leg spin and the leg break delivery is your grip. The grip must be two fingers down and two fingers up. This is exactly what I would want. The ball just slots in there like that. The leg spin will spin from right to left on the pitch and you will spin the ball using your third finger, like so. Okay. Got nice, it. Nice, comfortable grip. But it's to spin the ball, we want to use this third finger that spins the ball and it's spun from right to left which is the best delivery to bowl, right to left. The back of your hand will be facing yourself, which is important to get the biggest spin on the delivery. The amount of years you have to practice that, to release that properly. Is to know where it's gonna go? Yeah, mind boggling. Com comparable, as I thought, to the, to the intricacies of pitching in the major leagues. Dang! How you hold it, how you release it, how you twist it. By the way, there's no comparable pitch in Major League Baseball to that. No, oh, no. Because you have to throw it in a certain window and you can't hit the grip. Yeah. Nothing, nothing even remotely close to that. The second delivery. delivery is the top spinner, or sometimes called the over spinner. It's delivered with exactly the, top the same grip. Comfortable with the part. Mine's probably a little bit too close, but that's just what works for me. Whatever works for you. Sometimes a wider grip is okay as like well. A split finger fastball. But what you do, instead of spinning the ball with your third finger, spinning it from right to left, the ball will go straight on and bounce. So it's important when you're bowling this delivery. So instead of we set as the back of your hand facing yourself, the back of the hand now will face the batsman. Oh, what? So the ball will come what? over straight. Wow. So what about like? Oh, that's why it goes over. And it's all important. The follow through, everything is important. So that's on why it goes over, so they can get the motion. Like and the ball, it won't spin. Wow. Dang, how do you control right that? On. And sometimes the batsman will pick this as a Roman or a leg spinner, and they're not quite sure. And this is when it brings back pads into play. Ah, yeah, so they the can't balls. tell, because it looks the delivery looks comparable to that last one. The delivery looks very similar, and the grip is similar. Rotation's going to look similar. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, and four, five, five, five. A pitch to Roman, perfectly on that occasion. 
to the novice, these all look pretty similar. But it's just the wrong end. This can be a very uh, deceiving delivery if the batsman's not reading and watching the hand. Uh, then he can not be sure which way the ball is going. So this can be a very good delivery. It's delivered with the same grip, two fingers up, two fingers down. It's a little bit wider fingers here, not too much, whatever feels comfortable. As we saw the top spin go straight over, the wrong end, it's released from the back of the hand, like so. So we said the leg spinner, All the way back of the hand facing me. Top spinner, straight facing the batsman. The wrong end, it's most important you watch the seam. When you bowl a ball, the back of the hand is facing fine leg and the seam it shows you which way the ball's going to spin. So when it was released, it's released the same, but it's released more at the back of the hand. So it comes out- Wow! Like oh, wow. So you're still using your third finger, but now it's coming out the back of your hand. So like rather than rolling over the tops of the fingers, it's actually coming over the back of the hand. Some of the batsmen that don't watch the hand, they're not they'll sure miss which way it. it's going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The guys oh, yeah, break the leg break, and it bowls them between the gate, back and pad, while they go back to try and cut you and you can get bowled, chopped on, or a big bat pad chance from the ball spinning back into the batsman, as you can see. I was trying to find my cricket hand, ball so I could try. Facing but... leg and the seam shows you which wow. way the ball is spinning. This is exactly, thank you so much. This is exactly what I wanted to That's see. That's insane, right? It's crazy. The fact that you also get so much power with something like that. And control, Yeah. that you can control that release. The flipper. Same with the Australian accent. Yeah, I got it. But the flipper. Ah, the flipper. Crikey. Look at that flipper. The flipper's been a, a great delivery of mine over a long period of time. Uh, it can be a very rewarding delivery, but it's quite a tough delivery to bowl. I think it's most important that you get the leg spinner, the top spinner, and the wrong one first, and then you can slowly develop the flipper. The flipper is delivered with exactly the same grip, but your thumb comes into play here. You don't use your thumb on any of the other deliveries, but you use your thumb on this one. This one is squeezed out and comes underneath like that. And the best way to practice this delivery is to click your fingers, you put the ball in there, and then you just click your fingers. Don't try and do anything else, but click the fingers. Wow. Just click your fingers. The ball is released under the hand, like that, rather than out the back of the hand. And then all you do is click your fingers. And you'll wow. see it come out like that. So as we can see, it's coming out from underneath, rather than out the back like that for leggy, it comes out the bottom of the hand like that for the flipper. It'll be a lot flatter in trajectory, and it will skid off the ball because it's got backspin on it. It'll skid low and hopefully get the bats and bowl or LBW. <laughs> I can see the flatness of the trajectory. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautifully bowled. You can see the end of the finger showing the bounce. It wasn't good enough to get down. Yeah, that would have, yeah. It's a good bowling by Shane Wright. Blocking. They have something called a slider. It's probably a little different. Maybe not. That's the slider. Now the slider is something I've developed over the last 12 or 18 months with a lot of help from Terry Dean, who used to bowl it a fair bit. It's delivered like the leg spinner. The leg it. spinner is spun like that, as we've talked about, the seam going from right to left, spinning the ball. Now all we do with the slider is we go a little bit further around, and we come right around the ball like that. We're delivered with the palm of our hand facing the batsman, and the ball comes out like that. Oh it's my delivered like goodness. that, and it'll slide straight on, rather than the leg break like that, the slider, it's delivered like that, and it will come down so like that. So they come out and literally the just bowl it, straight it's exactly the same grip. out. It's exactly the same. And we bowl a leg break like that, the slider, it's just a bit further wrist position. So There's a lot more complexities to a pitcher. Yeah, straight through like that. Then there are. There, this ball will slide. Well, they're different, but there's different so many more worlds. elements that yeah. they have to there's incorporate. So many different worlds. Because they get to use the ground, and that's an entirely different element. That obviously you do not have a baseball. Dang, that's the 
receiving. Well, there you have it. There's uh, five my deliveries that I like to bowl, which uh, hopefully can confuse batsmen. Five my deliveries that I like to there, bowl. The best way to practice is exactly that. Practice. It's a bit That's Australian the best way to and it's learn. pretty subtle, but actually. Practice properly. As Bumpy. we talked about the grips, but you've got to make Talk sure you bowl a nice high arm, not too high, and making sure we follow through and getting all the basics right. Leg spin can be great fun, and you can come Leg up with your own mystery fun. ball if you keep practicing in the nets right. You can change the grips. All these different deliveries can be bowled wide of the crease, in close to stumps, in all different areas on the crease. If you keep doing those sorts of things, you'll find that the ball does different things. And your best weapon is natural variation off the wicket. That can be the best mystery ball you've ever had, is natural variation. So keep practicing, good luck with it all, and um, I'm looking forward to your feedback. Great video. Fantastic. Great video. Also, side note, nothing to do with it, but if you want to learn a subtle Australian accent, you can listen to him. For sure. As opposed to a more thick, like a Steve Irwin. Yeah. It's a little more up here. He's, That's he's, an easier he, one to do for me. Yeah, because it's, it's very stereotypical. Yeah. It's kind of like, you do New York and, you know, it's, yeah, it's that, he has much more of a uh, stereotypical Australian. He's more subtle. Yeah. So if you're looking for a little more subtle, if you're, if you're an actor and you like to He's master, a great one to listen to. He's pretty good. Anyways. Yeah, um, yeah man, that was great. I, I learned a lot from that video. Learned, uh, one of them, exactly the kind of video been hoping to see about bowling and I wonder it makes me and think, that's just spinning I know it makes me think as a hitter so for example in in baseball what hitters do a lot of the time is and it's part of the game is you uh, in certain situations based on the pitch count a certain pitch is gonna be thrown and it really depends on the kind of pitcher you are and it depends on the kind of hitter you are but Derek Jeter was asked what his mindset was and what he was doing when he went up to bat did it did it depend on who was pitching? And he said, I always went up to the plate with a pitch in mind based on who was pitching. And I just waited for that pitch. And if I never got it, good on them. But I, I just waited for my, so if I was going up looking fastball, I was waiting for the fastball. No matter what they threw breaking wise, I wouldn't swing at it. And if you got me looking on breaking balls for about three straight pitches, good for you. You got me, but I didn't gamble. I wasn't waiting to see the spin. I wasn't wait. I already made a decision when I went up what I'm looking for. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? I mean, you can't argue with it. He did it. He's, I know he's one of the greatest yeah. hitters in baseball history. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to argue with a professional. Rod Carew, baseball player, Hall of Famer with the, with it, the Angels. It worked for him. He, Rod Carew, there's a legendary story of him coming up to bat and he's in, he's, he was a switch hitter, so he's hitting right-handed and the catcher's trying to throw him off. And he was known for being a slap hitter. He could hit it anywhere he wanted at any time. Pitchers in the middle of the windup. Catcher says to Rod, as it's being released, where are you going with this one, Rod? And as Rod swings and hits it, he says, I'll take, I'm going to take this one to right. And he hits a base hit to right field. <laughs> you never know if those stories are true. I believe that one. I believe that one. <laughs> this was, yeah. they're two, they have similarities, but they're completely different animals. Uh, yeah. Completely different animals. Yeah. There's, the more I learn about cricket, the more I realize comparing cricket and baseball in terms of it's just the it's difficulty. A, it's and just because it's an easy comparison, a bat and a ball. Bat and a ball and you hit it and you catch it. That's basically that's where all there the is similarities to it. lie. That's where it ends. Because the, the pitching's different, the, the hitting's different, How the you watch is different. What a, what a batsman does watching the bowler and what you pick up on and where you're gonna go with it and how you're gonna do it and what you need to get. It's, the it's, points are different. The points are different. It's just, it's, it's a completely, it's a, it's just that they, it's they, like boxing and full blown MMA. They're both combat sports, but they're completely yeah. different. It's just you can compare them because you both hit each other. Right. But exactly. that's, that's basically, that's basically the comparison, it. but yeah. they're completely different. Right. That's very true. Um, but yeah, that, Boy, was, that great. was great. I, I really <laughs> enjoyed it. I wish I could have. Somebody, I think somebody sent us a cricket. Oh, no, I found more, a, more, more. I found a cricket ball when we went to the cricket field once. Right. And I kept it, and it's somewhere around somewhere here. here. Either Sev takes it or Leland plays with it, and so I don't know where it is right now, but I wanted to try to, I know. to mess with it. But anyways, more, more, more. If more. there's more videos like this, any other cricket videos, let us know what we should react to down below. Just